Hi, my name is Jessica from the fashion and beauty blog, Jeans in a Teacup, and today I'm going to be sharing a summer try-on with some pieces that I've picked up recently, so stay tuned. Alright, so first up, I have some Jenny Kane pieces to show you. I have this dress, and then I'll be showing you a pair of sandals. Um, I have been working with Jenny Kane for the past couple months. This is my last month working with them officially, um, but I'm still really excited about all of their pieces. I've fallen even more in love with the brand, and I'm still planning on buying a few more things even after this partnership is over. So this dress is what I got in this month from Jenny Kane. It is the Seersucker Summer Dress. So if you remember from previous try on hauls, I have a white version of this swingy like tent dress and they just came out with Seersucker versions. So the white one that I have is just a plain um, white fabric. It's not this textured Seersucker. Um, but as far as I can tell, the fit is the same. It has the same details as the white version that I have. It's a slightly different material, so I think this one is um, cotton and rayon, and the regular summer dress is cotton linen, but they pretty much feel exactly the same. It's a nice, soft fabric. I was a little worried that the seersucker um, fabric would be kind of like stiff and crunchy. I don't know, just from like um, seersucker fabrics that I've tried in the past. But this is really soft still, still, and it's just a really subtle um, pattern on this dress. Um, yeah, so it, it adds like a nice texture to it, which I, I do appreciate. And yeah, this dress has like these thin straps. They are not adjustable, so um, just keep that in mind. But they fit me fine. Usually I feel like I have a short area here, and I'm always having to like make straps shorter, but this still works for me. Um, and it covers up my bra still, I'm wearing a black bra, and it still covers my bra straps perfectly. What I like about this dress is it has a nice, cute little keyhole detail here with two little button details here. Um, it does not have pockets, but it is lined, and the white versions are lined too, which is nice, so it doesn't um, seem like a sheer dress. And it's got these cute little tiered levels on the dress, which is really cute. And I love wearing this dress and I love wearing my white version as well. It's really comfortable, really breezy. I will wear these dresses like multiple times a week. Um, I've worn this dress like three days in a row because it's that good. So I really do like this dress. You'll be wearing it a lot. Um, it does have a, an elastic band in the back, so it is, um, it will like stretch a bit. And I am wearing size small, and as you can see there is a lot of space here. I have a very small rib cage torso, so like I wear a size 30 band on my bras. Um, so yeah, I, I would think if you have like a regular size rib cage or if you're, I don't know, like um, a 34 band, like a 34C or something, this, the size small would probably be, be fine for you, but I am just a little bit smaller. I just didn't want to go smaller because I didn't want it to be too tight here. Um, I like kind of the loose, the loose feel. But I probably could have fit in an extra small. I'll have to go to their store and try on um, the extra small to see how that fits. Also, um, even though this outer layer is pretty wide and big, I kind of feel like the slip underneath is a little bit tighter. So if your hips are, um, you know, pretty wide, you might want to take your larger size just so it doesn't feel too tight. Um, but other than that, I think it probably fits pretty true to size. I wear size small, usually in Jenny Kane, and my size small pieces are pretty roomy. So if you like a tight fit, maybe size down a little bit. Um, but in general, I think you can take your regular size. So I hope that helps. All right, my next Jenny Kane piece or pieces are these crossover sandals. This is the cotton crossover 
sandal. Um, I have several of, I think I have two other pairs of their crossover sandal. This is the first pair I have of this cotton crossover, so it's slightly different than the than the cheetah print um, crossover sandals and the raffia crossover sandals that I have from Jenny Kane. This pair has a molded footbed and it's like a, a, a suede or a leather um, molded footbed. And then um, these straps are, you know, like a thick um, cotton canvas material. So um, if they don't stretch, there's no stretch there. But um, yeah, the difference is the molded footbed. The other crossover sandals just have like a flat, um, flat footbed. So this is definitely more support for your feet. And this is probably the most comfortable crossover sandal version because of that molded footbed. And it comes, the straps come in different colors. Um, so I think you can get a brown and there's one other, I think a black and white version as well. But I liked the combo of the brown and the black. It will go with like um, my like tan shades and also black um, clothes as well. So yeah, the other difference with these I feel like is they are wider. So I have a very narrow and thin foot and these are like slightly big on me. Um, width wise, I feel like um, I feel like they're just not as tight on my foot as the Raffia crossover and the leopard cheetah print crossover sandals that I have. So um, yeah, I probably won't be wearing these as much because they just feel looser on my foot. But these are super comfortable. Like I love this molded footbed. It feels really comfy. I wish they were not as wide so that they would fit my foot a little bit better but they are definitely the most comfortable sandal that I've tried from Jenny Kane so far. So yeah, there's that. I'm wearing size nine, which is my usual size in Jenny Kane um, footwear. I don't think I would have fit in the size eight um, to size down in these to make them tighter on my foot because lengthwise um, my feet would have been too long. So these, the size nine is perfect lengthwise for my foot. My foot's just a little narrow and a little thin, so it doesn't fill out the footbed as much, unfortunately. So there's that. But yeah, they are really comfortable. They're really chic. I really do like them. All right, next up we have some fun printed PJs from Printfresh. This is a brand I discovered like within the last year, and I was obviously drawn to the brand because of these amazing prints. I consider myself kind of a neutral lover, even though you see a lot of prints here. Um, so I'm not necessarily always drawn to like bold, bright prints, but I decided to make an exception for Print Fresh because I just thought they were so cute. And this is an ethical brand based out of Philadelphia, which is like my hometown. So I love that they're Philly based and they, um, make all of their prints, I think, in India, so ethically made in India. And yeah, you'll always see kind of like a jungle or animal um, kind of motif on their designs. This one has cheetahs, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's usually some sort of like animal on their um, prints. This is also from Print Fresh, which I'll put on in a second. Um, so I bought this set from them during one of their sales. So I did get a, a good deal. This is 100% cotton as well. So it will just wear really nice, um, get pretty soft after you keep washing and wearing it. My set is kind of wrinkled because I have been wearing this to bed. So um, I have tried it out and they are comfortable to sleep in. And I'm wearing their long sleeve version, long sleeve top and long sleeve pants. Um, and you do, buy them in a set. So this is um, size small, top and bottom. It comes together. The pants are elastic tied waist. The shirt is a button front um, with a little pocket here. There are pockets on the pants, which is nice. And I think that's about it. I am 5'8 and the pants are long enough on me. Sometimes I feel like PJ sets can be kind of short. Um, I, I kind of wish maybe it was a little bit longer in the arms. So I, when I put them out, they kind of get a little shorter. But I mean, a lot of times I have them rolled up anyway. So 
it's fine and yeah I've really been liking this set they come in tons of different colors and prints um, so there's really a lot to choose from um, so you, you should be able to find a print that you like there are so many that I liked um, but yeah I went with this blue one and I'll be showing you this shorts set next all right here's my second print fresh PJ set this is um, one of their newer prints that they just released for the summer. I forget what it's called, but obviously this is the short sleeve and short set. It fits pretty much the same as the other set I just wore, except it's short sleeve. It still has the drawstring waist, and yeah, it has the nice piping details along the collars and the sleeves um, like the other one. Um, this one has tigers and maybe like some lemurs on it I'm not really sure in this jungle green jungle print which is really cute um, so after I bought that PJ set I reached out to print fresh to see if they would collaborate so now I am one of their affiliates and they gave me a code to share for 15% off I believe um, your purchase I think it's code jeans in a teacup but I'll have to check I'll leave it in the um, description box below with everything but yeah I'm just a big fan of their PJs like I said there's so many um, prints to choose from all different colors and designs um, they're really comfortable pockets again and yeah I'm just a big fan they're ethically made um, and I think that's all I have to say about that this is size small again I feel like they run true to size size small is my normal size so yeah all right, next up, we have this beautiful dress from Doen. I believe it's called the Ishia dress. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, it's um, like a smocked design, kind of similar to like their soul dress and um, some of their other popular dress styles that they've come out with in the past couple of years. I think this dress is sold out in a lot of sizes. It does come in different prints, um, so there might be a few left, but this was a very popular style that they released this summer. Um, I had to get up at like really early, get on their website and order it in like a minute because they, they sold out super fast. So I can't believe I even got one. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. Obviously, I like the style dress, the kind of cottage core, smocked, puffy sleeve dress. So this is perfect for me. It is cotton. I believe it's 100% cotton. So it's a nice, soft, breathable, breezy um, fabric. It's got the um, smocking for the puff sleeves. And the waist is adjustable with um, ties. Um, and then the top is semi-adjustable with ties, so I kind of thought the whole neck would be like a drawstring adjustable, but it's only it only goes up like a little bit, like maybe to here, so you can't like adjust the whole thing. So I've adjusted it kind of as far as it will go. Um, so maybe I'm wearing the size small also. Um, so I probably could have gotten away with going with an extra small. It would have been a little bit tighter on the sleeves, like they're a little bit loose and because um, it is very stretchy. But I think the small fits me fine as well. The only problem with this dress is it, it's not lined. So it is semi sheer, probably should be wearing a slip. Um, and then I'm wearing a nude bra so you can't really tell. But yeah, it is pretty sheer. There's like a white version that they have and I'm assuming that would be like super sheer. So this print helps hide it a little bit. And yeah, I love all my Doan pieces. They are pricey, but they are um, ethically made. And um, yeah, I do really love this dress. So I'm assuming they're gonna keep bringing it back hopefully. So if you see it um, pop up on their website, grab it super fast because this style does sell out quickly. It is one of their popular styles now. Everybody wants it. I see it on resale websites like marked up super high. So yeah, just keep an eye out for it, but don't pay too much because it's not worth like $400. Okay, so only pay retail price for it. Um, don't pay like a marked up um, 
price for this dress because it is lovely, but it's not worth that much. Um, but yeah. All right, I've got another cute pair of sandals to show you. Um, these are from Nisolo, and I am doing a summer partnership with them to show you some of the summer sandals. Um, you may have noticed I was wearing um, woven sandals for some of the other clothes that I tried on. Those were also from Nisolo, and you can see them in my previous um, YouTube video. These I got in this month. These are the go-to platform sandals. And these are a great, comfortable, more sporty sandal if you're into that. They obviously have this little platform, but it's not too high. It's maybe like an inch. Um, and then the upper is these leather straps. They are semi-adjustable with this Velcro strap here. Um, so yeah, you can adjust them, although you can only go, kind of go, um, you can't go like the whole way. I don't know if that makes sense, but they are semi-adjustable. I have them on the tightest um, strap right now. And then let's see, they have a grooved bottom, so there's a little bit more grip. And yeah, they come in other colors as well, but I love this tan shade because it goes with like everything. And these are also super lightweight. So even though it's got a chunkier sole than the other Nisolo sandals that I showed you, I can't grab them. These Nisolo sandals I showed you last time, um, they are not, they're not heavy. I even think that they might be a little bit lighter than these. I don't know. So they're not heavier, even though they have a thicker sole, still super lightweight. And so obviously these have straps on the back, so they stay on your foot a little bit better than these. Obviously, like you can just slide out of these. So when I need to like be running around a little bit more, um, I would go with these. And these are kind of like my dressier slide sandals. But yeah, I really love these. Um, I'm wearing a size nine, so it's the same size as these sandals that I have here. Um, they are pretty much like the same length. I would say that these Nisolo sandals, these are the Isla woven sandals. These are more narrow. You see this footbed here. It is pretty narrow, so my narrow feet fit in these slides really well. These are still kind of narrow, but they are a little bit wider, so my foot um, has more room in these. It definitely moves around a little bit more. Um, and I also have a very thin foot, so these straps aren't super tight on my foot. My foot kind of still moves around a bit in these. But if you have like a regular foot or a wider foot, um, the straps would probably be fine, um, maybe a little bit tight on you. But this is leather, so I'm assuming that it will stretch out. It's a leather footbed as well. It will um, stretch and wear with you. So yeah, um, I just have a really narrow and thin foot, so my foot always slides around in sandals usually. But yeah, I do really like these for a summer shoe. Um, I will be wearing these a lot. So these are from the Solo, and make sure you check them out. They're ethically made, which is awesome, and they are at a decent price point for being ethically made as well. So um, this is my third pair of Nisolo shoes, and all of my Nisolo shoes have been amazing. Um, so highly recommend them. All right, last but not least, we have these Madewell shorts. So I needed a pair of shorts for my upcoming trip. Um, I didn't have any because I'm not really a shorts person, but I figured I should have a pair just in case. Um, so I just hopped into Madewell and just tried on what they had in store. And this ended up being the best fitting pair of shorts um, that I tried on. I believe it's called the Perfect Jean Short. So I'm wearing size 26, I believe. Yeah, I think size 26, which is my usual size in denim. And yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty tight fit. Um, you know, it's uh, tight on the hips and not super loose. It is pretty short as well. Um, it does not pass the fingertip test, but that's okay. This is the distress pair, so it does have a raw hem and all these markings. But for a summer jean, I don't mind that because it just looks lived in and, you know, really comfortable. So, yeah, I tried on their, I think it's their mom shorts. 
and those were super big. I ended up like sizing down two sizes for my normal size, I believe. So I was trying on a size 24, which is kind of crazy. Um, and they were longer, but they also kind of flared out. And I have really thin, thin legs, thin um, thighs. So it just looked kind of silly on me. So even though I prefer longer shorts, yeah, even though I prefer longer shorts, I found that shorter shorts just look better with my skinny legs. Like they just um, don't flare out as much. Um, so yeah, I think these look really good. Um, I think they are a cotton stretch blend, so I don't think they're 100% cotton, but they do st still feel like pretty stiff, like regular denim. So that's good. So yeah, these will be my summer shorts. All right, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any size questions or fit questions or brand questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And you can see more of these outfits on my Instagram at jeans in a teacup and on my blog, jeansinateacup.com. And I will be going to Greece soon, which is why I picked up some of these summer, summer things. So make sure you follow me on Instagram to see Greece um, and all of the beautiful things there. So I'm super excited and I will see you next time. Bye.